Hello, myself, uh, Professor Yasir, and uh, I am mathematics teacher. Uh, today, uh, students, we are study. We are going to study about the group. Before starting the group, uh, uh, we also recall about binary operation. So the term binary operation uh, explain itself how. Likewise, uh, if we take uh, this is a binary operation so by means 2 and nary means number means for binary we required a two numbers whether the numbers are real or rational or irrational or complex doesn't matter fine we require two numbers and we operate it operate means operation means here plus minus multiplication division as well as in the sense of function it is said to be composition so these are the operation so binary operation every set doesn't hold the any binary operation so in in the journal form we can set it a steric this binary operation is known as steric so this is about binary operation now student we move towards the group uh, what are the properties of group what are behind the group so behind the group is the thing is set the set is finite so it can make a group if it holds a following axioms if a set is infinite it can make a group it doesn't matter the group the set is finite or infinite but an important thing is that the set which is going to be form a group a set is non-empty this set must be non-empty non-empty means it necessary that it possess this set possess uh, some elements for operation to operate with each other and give us a uh, unique result regarding properties of the group uh, if it holds following axioms if it holds following axioms what is the meaning of axioms student axioms stand for properties or conditions or rules which are following properties under the given binary operation so we can say about it this is a journal binary operation Steric. Steric stand for plus multiplication, division, subtraction, composition, whatever. No problem. So uh, the axiom number one is collier property. Add from its name collier property or collier law. Same. Collier property, the word is derived from closed. So the sense create, we can discuss it for, for layman that we have a box. If we take a two numbers from this box, for example, this box is named as set of natural numbers. If we take a two numbers or, uh, or for uh, uh, super set, we can take uh, this box have a name as set of integers so uh, students dear students if we take a two numbers from this box for example the number is 2 and the number is a minus 11 fine the number is 2 and minus 11 from integers so what is the theme behind the closure property what tell us about the closure property so it is very uh, easy step set 
we take for all the symbol of for all a b a b any elements from a given set from a given set which is under discussion a b belongs to for example the set is g such that the symbol is stand for discrete mathematics such that and a steric b must be belongs to g means binary operation hold in this set so here we take a set g is integers so we take a is 2 and b is minus 11 so let we take it by experiment so for the sake of convenience we use a uh, another color so example is that if we take element 2 and binary operation we take a addition we take a addition so 2 plus minus 11 what give us when this holds this operation holds we will get minus 9 now question is that is minus 9 is integers or not yes the answer is yes minus 9 is integer so this number goes to this set means that if we take uh, any two numbers from this box then the numbers when operate with any given binary operation then the answer is should be in this box hence this box is closed so this box is closed so this is the theme behind a collier property i hope you will get my point about collier property so then students the second one is very important and we have a lot of result uh, about second one but uh, uh, now uh, currently we are only discuss about the base of group uh, how group are working and uh, uh, furthermore that we can discuss its application so group this the second one is the second one is associative property associative property associative property so the word described by itself association association means chain chain of number the one number is associate with the other and the other is associate with the third one and third one associate with at the and this relation uh, built up up to so far but here for the sake of convenience and uh, our Uh, simplicity uh, we take for all three elements a b c belongs to the element the set g such that any binary operation a steric b steric c should be equals to a steric b steric c so what we get point the point is that we take here three numbers also same here three numbers so the answer will be uh, equal but no here we talk about the shuffling of bracket uh, here the bracket at the second and third and here the bracket at the first and uh, first two one and two uh, first position and the second position so it tell, tell us that the bracket hold first then it's be become a uh, with the help of clear property one number and this one number is operate with this this one is here and remain same so the answers are left hand side is equal to right hand side so this is the theme uh, the shuffling of bracket under the binary operation uh, doesn't matter so this is the theme of association so if we take likewise previously if we explain the example here we also explain example three numbers three numbers students for example minus 5 4 and 0 this is a this is b this is c what is association if we operate b plus c we will get 4 then minus 4 plus 5 well, minus 5 plus 4 you will get minus 1 and the furthermore that if we operate these two then after this from 0 so minus 1 plus 0 you will get minus 1 so left hand side is equal to right hand side so this is these are the two properties and in the next lecture we will discuss about other true properties uh, till now this is not a group this set is the set g or the set of integer is not a group because we only discuss two properties for a group we should discuss about 
on four property.